I shot this footage around 20 years ago. Children working in India, in Colombia, in Egypt, in Russia, all over the world. At the time, they talked of 250 million children working in the worst possible conditions, jeopardizing their health, their growth, and their education. The Cold War was just over. We dreamed of a better world, a fairer, more caring world. In the mid-1990s, the states of this planet came together to fight this scourge. Conventions were signed and battle plans drawn up. It was even decreed that by 2016, there would be no more children subjected to these most unacceptable forms of labor. Now, just a few years from that deadline, how much remains to be done? I've never forgotten Nand Kishore and Kalawati, nor their faces. Two little Indians, brother and sister, four and five years old at the time. They soldered glass to make bangles. This is a picture from the, the film I made 20 years ago. So okay. I would like to find out. These are the children working in uh, Bengal factories? Yes, it is. Firozabad is known worldwide yeah. for its uh, Bengal factories. So it will be really tough to find them. Eh? And 20 years, I mean 20 years is such a long time, they must would have married and gone to somewhere else. Nan Kishore and Kalawati worked in a cellar somewhere around here, in the centre of town. What became of them? Are their own children also forced to solder bangles? The neighborhood has totally changed. The Bengal workshops have disappeared. People said that there are places where children are still making bangles in their homes. So we are going to the places as people have suggested, where we can find such children who are still working and we will see them if it's true or not. The workshops were moved to the outskirts of town. But the community working in them is still the same, people from the poorest Indian states.
I didn't find Kalawati in Nankishore. They must have moved on, or perhaps they died. Other children took their place in the Indian glass workshops. What's your name? Your name is Neha. And how many schools are you studying? You don't study? How many years are you studying? How old are you? I don't know. I don't know. What's your name? Neha. 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 Who are you studying? I don't know. I don't know. In which class? In two. In two? Okay. How old are you? Six. Six years? Okay. The glass industry in Ferozabad still employs 40,000 children. Tens of millions more work in many sectors of the economy in India. Despite its growth, India has not eradicated this scourge. It tops the list of countries concerned. Yet there are men and women here who, for decades, have been committed to the children's cause and who are not about to give up. तीन अलग अलग एरिया है ना हम अभी नरेला राजा हरिश्चंद्र हॉस्पिटल के पास है वहाँ छोटे छोटे कमरों में थाने की सजा है एक ही साथ अपने को पंद्रह से बीस वहाँ मिलते हैं आगे लेबर वालों लेबर वालों ठीक है ये वाला टीम नहीं रहेगा ये वाले इस टीम को यहाँ कर दिए हैं चारी टीम रहेगी हाँ � that day, a group of activists was preparing an operation to take children from the workshops where they were working. Since its creation in 1980, the BBA organization founded by Kailash Satyati has freed tens of thousands of children held as slaves by gangster networks. We are going to conduct a secret uh, raid. We have got some complaints from um, some sources that um, a lot of children have been trafficked from different places and working in an area in some small scale factories. Uh, so we have done the proper thorough investigation and after that we have approached the local authorities because we wanted to rescue these children according to the laws. But we have not yet disclosed the exact location of the place to any government authority because there are serious chances that they could be bribed and they could be influenced or whatever or they can give the tip off so everything is kept secret koi baat nahi beta daro mat darna nahi mummy pap me pap abbu ke paas sab bacche jayenge beta papa ka naam कौन सा है कहाँ आ जाओ तुम लोग आ जाओ नहीं वो तो सर मेरा भाई है वो मेरे बच्चे तो सर नहीं वो कहाँ है वो तुम ही रहो वो कहाँ पे कहाँ दिया तुम तुम भाग गया क्या एक बच्चा तुम्हारे होते हुए आ जाओ डरो नहीं एक मिनट एक मिनट एक मिनट आप रुक जाओ ये तो अपने ही लोग हैं ना हमारी टीम के लोग the activists have established that the workshop boss bought the children from a trafficker who went to find them a thousand kilometers from Delhi in Bihar state. He persuaded the parents that they would be educated and would work the rest of the time so as to send home money. <laughs> रोमत कोई बात नहीं तुम्हें घर पहुंचाएंगे अम्मी अब्बू के पास पहुंचाएंगे हाँ रोमत 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 अम्मी अब्बू के पास क्या नाम है तुम्हारा बेटा है बेटा मैं मैं फूस मैं मैं फूस मैं डरो नहीं हाँ 
डरने की जरूरत नहीं है क्योंकि अभी तुमको घर पहुंचाया जाएगा अपने हाँ तुम्हारा नाम क्या है तुम भी वही क्यों बिहार के इसको ले आओ तुम भी आ जाओ बेटा आ जाओ और डरो नहीं तुम लोग ना रोने की जरूरत है तुमको पुलिस तुमको पकड़ के नहीं ले गई पुलिस तुम्हारी मदद के लिए आई हम लोग तुम्हारी मदद के लिए आए फेंक दो क्या चीज है The local community soon closes ranks to support the boss. They even clash with the magistrate and try to prevent the children from leaving. Everybody will be behind the bar. Sab jail ke andar honge. Durat bachche aaja ni chahiye. Arajakta nahi hai. Kanun ka raj hai. Unfortunately, there was a big mob of criminal people and employers and the people who were provoked. And as a result of it, 15 children were taken away, snatched away from our cars at one place and 10 children were also taken away forcibly by these uh, criminal people and the local people from another car. How many days have you been? 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 Three months. Those who escaped are identified and registered by social services. One might think they would be safe now. But outside, the local bosses association in league with the owner of the workshops is again on the offensive. The children already snatched from the magistrate were not enough. Now they want to recover those who escaped. बच्चे कहाँ हैं पंद्रह बच्चे जो छीन लिए इनसे पंद्रह बच्चे थे कितने बारह बच्चे बारह बच्चे बारह बच्चे बारह बच्चे थे मैं मैंने खुद ये झूठ क्यों बोले कार्यकर्ता हैं बेचारे भले आदमी देख लो आपके सामने उनको कि वो जो पंद्रह बच्चे थे उन पंद्रह बच्चों को बाद में वापस ले लिया छूटने एसडीएम के आदमी हैं, पुलिस है। ऑर्डर फॉलो करना चाहिए। ना तो थक गए कि आप ना करो ऐसा काम। बुलाइए, बुलाइए। हम समझा रहे हैं। बच्चों को बुलाइए और उनको। चलो अब इसमें बहस करने। फिलहाल जैसा है गोयल जी, गोयल जी, अग्रवाल जी जो भी हैं आप। बच्चे जो हैं, बच्चे मिलना चाहिए, Before being returned to their parents, the children will spend several days in a shelter set up by Kailash Satyarthi 30 years ago. So how will you go? You guys have come here. Someone has brought a bell here. Have you come here? Someone's father, someone's father, someone's mother, someone's family, someone's family, someone's family, someone's family. And he said that he will get good money. He will get good money. He will get good money. You guys will work in the factory. Do you know that you are making these bags? You are making these bags. Who do you know these bags? Do you know who do you know? Yes. चावल पैक करके कहाँ जाता है? अमेरिका, पाकिस्तान, दुबई, लंदन सारा जगह जाता है। तुम्हें मालूम था पहले से ये बात? पहले से मालूम नहीं था। जब तुम बना रहे थे, काम कर रहे थे, तब तुम्हें कैसे पता लगा? यहाँ अब आता ना बोलने के लिए। और तुम इसको बनाते हो, कैसे बनाते हो तुम? मशीन्स तो इतने छोटे बच्चे कैसे बना लेंगे मशीन से? कोई मशीन से बनाता है नीचे रहता सर। 
पानी में पलटी करते इसको काट कर देता है दिखाओ वो वाला नहीं नहीं ये है ना ये न्यू जर्सी का है शायद देखो अमेरिका का मार्केटेड बाय कोहिनूर फूड यूएसए हाँ तो अमेरिका में इनका है ना ऑफिस इफ वी लुक इन टू द कोहिनूर वेबसाइट देन वी कैन गेट मोर इंफॉर्मेशन वाह से दैट नो माइनर लेबर फेयर ट्रेड प्रैक्टिस complete medical facilities for our people safe and sound working environment are the things that we at kohinoor take utmost care about hello mr rora you might be knowing that the global march against child labor is a worldwide movement against child labor which is headquartered in delhi okay we have very hard evidences of traffic children and bonded children working for you now i can advise you and i can invite you to my own factory and i can take you myself you if you're talking about specifically your rice factory which is mine no no i'm not talking about rice factory i'm talking about the bags the bags i am not controlling sir i will be very honest with you we are 30 vendors now it is impossible for me to verify all 30 vendors i'm not because i'm not responsible for No, 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 no. In Delhi, we have liberated some twenty-six yes. children from yes. some yes. industries. They were making bags for you. Okay. Not, they... not for me, sir. I mean, they must be making bags for the rice industry now. And your brand is used on the bags. Okay. It is written that this is for Kohinoor. I have got your telephone number only through through your bags. No, no, agree, agree. So, is, would is... would it be possible that uh, with your vendors? Yes. we can have a meeting we have a full division working on corporate social responsibility and helping okay. out the companies mujhe apna number de dijiye my guy my packing guy mukesh ruja will call you within 15 20 minutes okay the boss of koino does not call back he knows full well there's no law that forces him to check on the practices of his suppliers what might appear a failure is for kailash satyarthi only a minor battle lost in the war that he fights day to day sunbi aa jao aa jao aa jao baith jao sab sab baith jao baith jao उसको भी खोलो दूसरे वाले को क्या नाम है तुम्हारा विकास कहाँ से लेके आया था बिहार बिहार में कहा से से कितने दिन पहले लाया चार महीने और कहाँ लगा दिया तो तुम तुमसे काम क्यों कराते सोचा कभी तुमने नहीं तुमने सोचा कभी नहीं। अब सोच के बताओ क्यों कराता तुमसे काम ताकि जल्दी हो जाएगा कम पैसों में भी होएगा इसलिए कराता था इन्हें छोटो से लगवा लेंगे तो इतनी देर जल्दी कर देंगे ये तो इसीलिए लगाते थे हमें क्या करते थे तुम मैं तो रेख माल का करता था ये करते थे बर्तन का पॉलिश का बर्तन पॉलिश बहुत बुरा उसमें तो हाथ पाँव में जलन हो जाती गले में मुँह में हाँ टी वी होता अभी सब लोग चले जाओगे घर और घर जाके सब लोग इनके माँ बाप से लिखवा लेना बात करा के साफ साफ की अगर पढ़ाएंगे लिखाएंगे इनको तब तो ठीक है सब लोग बच्चों को पढ़ाना लिखाना जरूरी है और अगर वो बच्चों को पढ़ाएगा माँ बाप तो उसको बदले में पैसा मिलेगा बीस हजार रुपया का कुछ काम धंधे का सामान मिलेगा ठीक है ना बाप के लिए तुम्हें नहीं मिलेगा बाप को मिलेगा और तुमको मिलेगा स्कूल पढ़ाई लेकिन अगर स्कूल में नहीं पढ़ाया उसने तो समझो कि सजा हो जाएगा समझ रहे हो कि नहीं समझे बड़े बच्चे भी समझ रहे हैं कि नहीं समझ रहे अपने पिताजी को कह देना कि अगर तुमने पैसा बर्बाद किया और हमको काम पे लगाया तो जेल जाओ ठीक है ना सब काम हो रहा है they were in dark sheds in dark workshop under the slavery no joy no life no liberty and today you can see that they are happy they are playing with other children and they are jumping and making friends and such a change in one day so every day is important in the life of human being every day is important in the life of these children if we are not freeing them every day is lost from their life
छोटे बच्चे कहाँ हैं दिखाओ ना कहाँ हैं चलो आ जाओ कितने हैं हम आपको छोड़ने को नहीं कह रहे आप हम तो अच्छे तो क्या ही थे यार वो हमारे तो एक चक्कर में रह गए हमारे तो तो अरे हो जा चलो बे चलो भागो कौन है अरे बहुत क्या है तो चलो चलो बढ़ाओ 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 यहाँ से अरे बढ़ाओ पब्लिक बहुत ज़्यादा है अरे बहुत मार रहा है यार नो 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 स्टॉप बहुत मार रहा है उसके उनकी बहन छुट जाएगी मुकदमा हो जाएगा भाई डीएम साहब कहाँ हैं पता नहीं है डीएम तो भाग गए लेटिम कमी हो 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 चल 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 दिखे लोग चल बाग है हाँ इट्स ओके फॉर यू हाँ आज इधर इधर नहीं है नहीं दर्शन नहीं दर्शन नहीं दर्शन ज़्यादा पुलिस फोर्स ही है ना हाँ ज़्यादा फोर्स ही है पांच साल तक कानून में लगी क्या घूमने को क्या नहीं नहीं ऐसे घूम के लगी होगी भाई साहब कहाँ पे चलते भाई जी हाँ तो मेरे मेरे को तो फोर्स फोर्स दिया देना जरा सा राकेश जी मतलब काफी लगी हैं ये जहाँ भाई साहब हैं वहाँ लेके निकलो फड़ा एसडीएम है साथ में एसडीएम नहीं है कोई नहीं है वो तो पहले भाग गया तो भाई साहब से बात करो कहाँ पता करो और रास्ता बदल के निकलो और और पुलिस के लिए फोन करो किसी को पूछो राकेश जी हैं हाँ कौन सोचेंगे Three activists, Rakesh, Rizwan and Jubil, have been wounded and only 22 of the 100 children in the workshops have been freed. अरे बढ़ाओ वो क्योंकि इसने पहले इसको मारा था ना ये तो बदमाश है गुंडे टाइप बदमाश है सब हाँ ये भी आ गया इसमें इसका भी ले लो लेकिन सब लोग बड़ी जोर से इनके लिए एक बार फिर से ताली बजाएंगे कि इन बहादुर साथियों के वजह से ही संगठन और आंदोलन चल रहा है और आगे चलेगा ठीक है कि नहीं Following the day-to-day -day efforts of Kailash Satyarthi and his activists gives new meaning to the historical maxim that justice is not decreed, justice is hard won. It's a ceaseless fight against vested interests, against arbitrary forces or simply against ignorance. To find children who work, the activists infiltrate the backyards of Indian businesses. They introduce us to the bosses as potential buyers. We're supposed to be filming the quality of the embroidery. Once more, Gran. So ये ये सब export जितना order है ये ये तकरीबन है चार पांच हजार पीस का है। No raid can be considered because these children are working alongside their parents, something to which the authorities turn a blind eye. The truth is, in lots of emerging countries, these child workers contribute to growth. So the battle against this exploitation must be fought on the international stage.
Many times the children ask, what is our fault? Our fault was because we are born in a poor family. Our fault was because we are born in a poor country. And this is the question to the entire world. We all know that the number of child labor has gone down from 246 million to 216 million. But still, millions of children are languishing in slavery, sold and bought like animals, children living in most appalling conditions. And their child Kailash Satyati speaks on behalf of the 2,000 associations united in the global march. You will recall these pictures. They're historic. Pictures of hundreds of thousands of child workers from every continent converging on the UN headquarters in Geneva. A year later, in 1999, a convention was adopted. 174 states committed to abolishing the worst forms of child labor. And the target date set was 2016. For the first time, civil society, as it has come to be known, asserted itself against the states, shaking up the political debate and becoming an essential partner. For me, this conference is not a business as usual that we come here, we make good deliberations, we go, go back home, we are satisfied with a good roadmap, which I'm also involved in. Something more is needed. It needed, beside urgency, strong leadership. The labor ministers have to show leadership in their countries. They have to go to their prime ministers and president and say that, look, I have a moral obligation to make sure that all children must be withdrawn from child labor. All children must be schooled. They must Kailash Satyati addresses labor ministers from all over the world, come together to take stock several years before the 2016 target. Very, very important. Since the convention was signed, great progress has been made. But with the global economic crisis, efforts have been scaled back, and that progress is now compromised. Though, of course, situations differ according to country and continent. A few months ago, Joel was sifting waste in a garbage dump. Today, as part of a governmental program run by an NGO, he goes to school while earning a little money to help out his mother. Some think that child labor is an unfortunate inevitability and would cite the example of Joel as proof. It is, of course, not that simple. Los niños no deberían trabajar en nada, pero dado que es una comunidad muy pobre, la familia no tiene suficientes recursos, se permite este tipo de actividad siempre y cuando no le afecte la salud del niño y tampoco le impide estudiar. Entonces, que el niño no trabaje más de seis horas, como al día, no más de 20 horas a la semana, y que no realice actividades peligrosas. Y también la familia prefiere que esté en este tipo de actividades y no que esté por la calle expuesto a drogas o actividades de violencia. Yo estoy en buen camino, sí. Eh, yo hacía antes, yo recogía botellitas, botellitas para venderla. Me, me dijeron del, del programa allá arriba y quise apuntarme a ver cómo era. El programa 
me, eh, me salvó la vida. Joel found a way out, but how many children are still working at the dump? The program has ground to a halt since international financing, mainly American, dried up. And the Dominican government, despite its undertakings, will not take over the reins. Until further notice, there will still be children in this dump. in the dump and on the streets. Children the authorities have trouble removing from the gaze of tourists. Many are Haitian migrants who washed up here in increasing numbers after the earthquake in 2010. Children nobody cares for, abandoned to their fate. You know, you will find children begging on the streets anywhere in the world, everywhere in the world. These children are the worst victims of man-made disasters like acute poverty, uh, wars, conflicts, communal rights. They are the victims of natural catastrophes. Sometimes they lose their families. Sometimes the entire family has to run away in search of livelihood, but the parents cannot find the jobs, and therefore the children have to beg on the streets or go to work here and there. You can find it in Asia, in Latin America, in Africa.
students in Burkina Faso have founded an association to save Tuareg children from begging. These Tuaregs have fled the war zone in Mali but do not have the status of political refugees. So it's difficult for the adults to find work and for the children to go to school. The chief of the Tuareg community is a valuable ally in persuading parents. Combien d'enfants vous avez déjà sorti de la rue pour les mettre à l'école Actuellement, nous sommes à 57. 57, oui. Et il en reste que combien Il en reste des centaines. Et puis ces enfants, ils savent que euh, ces enfants, dès qu'ils sont en mendicité, ils ne deviennent pas quelqu'un de même. Il n'y a pas l'importance dans, dans la mendicité. Nous, on va faire comme on a retenu. Dès les, les semaines à venir, on va directement commencer à travailler auprès de nos partenaires. The students set up their association two years ago without any subsidies. Now, a partnership with the Swiss NGO enables them to widen the scope of their action. On a voulu donner quelque chose de définitif à, à ces enfants parce que, eh, en tant qu'étudiant, après les cours, le plus souvent, on se réunit autour du thé et on discute chaque soir. Et c'est dans ce, ce cadre maintenant que chaque fois, des, les mêmes enfants passaient dans le quartier et à leur passage, ils venaient nous demander quelque chose et on, on leur donnait la monnaie, la plus petite des monnaies qu'on avait chaque fois. Donc une fois, on, a, on, a répli, on, on était en train de réfléchir et on a vu que ces enfants-là, quel avenir ils auront. Parce que si nous, on ne fait que les donner de l'argent chaque fois, ça veut dire qu'avec le temps, ils vont continuer à demander toujours. Parce qu'ils ne sauront rien faire dans leur vie à part la mendicité. Thanks to the students' lobbying, the Burkina Faso government has granted the Tuareg children the right to go to school. In one of the world's poorest countries, solutions to halt child labor are cobbled together. But it's not always easy. 
Take the case of these young girls, for instance, who are barely noticed, so much they are taken for granted. They too are migrants. They come from Burkina's rural regions to work as servants to the city dwellers. This ancient practice is deeply rooted in the social psyche, yet it's something the government is trying to eradicate. Mesdames, Messieurs, bonsoir et merci d'être des nôtres. Au Burkina Faso, 41% des enfants âgés de 5 à 17 ans, soit 1 million et demi, euh, mènent une activité économique. 34% des enfants travailleurs sont des filles, tandis que euh, les garçons représentent 47,7%. Madame Zoma. Je voudrais dire que ici, la responsabilité est collective. Elle est collective pourquoi Parce que c'est vrai, il y a l'État. Qui, est, qui a pour mission de protéger en tout cas tous les groupes vulnérables. Mais il y a aussi les communautés. Il faut que les gens prennent suffisamment conscience pour faire sienne la protection de leurs enfants, de nos enfants. Nous, on fait un pas, eux aussi, ils font un, deux pas. Tout à fait, parce et nous que nous rejoignons. quand on va, par exemple, dans la région du sud-ouest, les enfants abandonnent l'école voilà. pour aller sur les sites orifères. Tout à fait. Les enfants ne viennent pas au hasard. Les enfants viennent parce qu'ils savent qu'on les attend pour descendre dans les trous. Zarazine, à quoi? Wow! Donc pour moi tout là, hein? Qui fait très chaud ça? Faut qu'il nous l'abîme pas trop. Il n'a pas peur de rentrer dans le trou. Où est-ce qu'il y a Un boucalé. Un boucalé. Quel est-ce qu'il y a Il y a un pilet. 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 Il dit que lui, il s'appelle Boucalé. Il a 15 ans. Il creuse. Il y a un pilet. 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 Il travaille avec certains sommeils là, que c'est son patron. Donc c'est celui-là qui est venu le chercher pour qu'il vienne travailler. Et le temps qu'il travaille, il a gagné combien Tout le covenu. 7500 qu'il a déjà gagné. En combien de temps Rahmawana. Rahmawana tout le monde. Plus de 20 jours de travail. C'est quand ils arrivent sur le site qu'ils se rendent compte de la réalité et que c'est vraiment dur et que ce n'est que de l'exploitation. The recent discovery of many gold seams in the center of the country could offer a chance for Burkina Faso to escape poverty. But by giving free rein to the gold rush, the government is realizing that it may have made a mistake. On gold mining sites, free enterprise reigns, wild and untrammeled. Here, social rules do not apply, and a child's value is measured by the work he can perform. Are you loud? Huh? Say you do. What are you doing? I'm doing it. 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 Why <laughs> 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 Yeah, 
How can you stop a child's fantasies when he sees adults getting rich right before his eyes? What alternative model can we offer to this race for the jackpot? In this world, an adult is a success if he can buy himself a motorbike or a smartphone, even if the lack of a network renders it useless. Tous ceux qui travaillent dans l'or, les orpailleurs, ceux qui creusent, ceux qui lavent, ils ont toujours considéré l'argent de l'or comme juste l'argent pour satisfaire des besoins immédiats. S'ils avaient considéré l'argent de l'or qu'ils gagnaient comme étant un, un, une source de financement pour d'autres activités, leur paillage pourrait même être un tremplin pour changer d'activité ou même pour payer eux-mêmes la scolarité de leurs enfants ou payer même la formation professionnelle de leurs enfants. Mais ils ne l'ont jamais considéré comme tel. Et tant et si bien que certains jeunes qui gagnent peut-être des millions, ils dilapident cet argent en rien de temps et puis bon, à la longue, ils se retrouvent encore à la case départ. Donc on reste, comme je l'avais dit, dans ce cercle vicieux de la pauvreté, on tourne là-dedans et euh, ce sont les enfants qui payent le, le prix fort. Mm. <laughs> I'm <laughs> I'm <laughs> I'm living over a car, living in Libya. Mamja, Tanga two men, Kaleta Mude. I remember my mother, hand to Mumbang, eh? I'm a talent, Nanta Lakwa Mera, Tons, I'm a Tibame, Bang, eh? Barbara Tuma, the Tuma Kasuma, Ninkame. For another two years, apprentice mechanic Isa will earn nothing, but his family will receive compensation. Education, training, and parental support come at a price, one mainly borne by international aid, though that soon may dry up. The best investment is the investment in education because it yields high return for the future of individuals and for the growth of country. Unfortunately, the world is not spending enough on education. It's not a big deal. Just three days of our annual military expenditure can solve the problem of children's illiteracy. Illiteracy causes poverty and poverty causes illiteracy. Child labor causes uh, uh, illiteracy and illiteracy causes child labor. So there's three way inter interdependency or interrelationship. 
so the fight against child labor fight against illiteracy and fight against poverty has to go hand in hand well informed consumers are now accustomed to boycotting products made by children but such production chains must be identified, which means tracing the origin of their raw materials, often to very remote areas. From the road, we can see nothing. We must climb up into the hills to find out how the mica is extracted. Jharkhand produces the best mica sheets in the world and supplies 70% of the international market. Mica is an insulator used in the nuclear and aeronautical industries. It's also found in most objects in daily use, such as mobile phones, electronic appliances, cars, computers, and even makeup. It's here that many multinationals come for supplies. They have used a candle. Many of these children are working as bonded laborers because uh, their parents have borrowed some money from the uh, contractor and they are bonded labor to the contractor and the bonded labor is working for a supplier and supplier is working for an industrialist and industrialist is the part of an international brand. So it's a full chain actually and we are trying to break this chain and we are trying to put uh, the whole accountability and the responsibility on the big brands. Corporate social responsibility is a concept that didn't exist 20 years ago. Today, it is showcased by all leading brands. Kailash Satyati has obtained an appointment with L'Oreal, number one in the cosmetics industry and a major importer of Indian mica. I'm taking some pictures with me to show them. And in these pictures, the child labor is still working in mica mining. It could be quite shocking for them, I guess. But I'm not going to ask for any charity. I don't ask for charity. Charity is no answer to the severe problem of human right violation or child right violation or child labor issue. It has to be dealt as a corporate social responsibility issue 
a law enforcement issue but of course each company should have that that heart and that mind and that will to do it if they have means to control quality if they have means to control many details of pricing and competitions uh, in buying the products and so on it is not very difficult to go uh, through the agents or they can go themselves and check whether the children are involved or not L'Oreal did not want us to be present at the meeting nor would they answer our questions it was a positive meeting as a first step because the first step to either begin with complete denial which was not the case today or with uh, openness and acceptability and that was the case but there's a long way to go but definitely corporates are allies in your struggle they are friends or enemies um, I won't say that they are friends or enemy but they have to prove the friendship for children because for last 20 years or 25 years I have seen that many of the industries have been completely denying the existence of child labor though they know we kept on giving them evidences but they say that no no it's not a serious problem it's not the problem at all or sometimes they say that the children are poor and they have to work things like that so they are the enemies of children but those who are willing to solve the problem they could be the friends of children and eventually they could be the friends of us so for me there is nothing like friendship or enemy but um, there is no reason to brand anyone as friend or anyone as enemy to begin with corporate engagement by applying the same strategy for 20 years Kailash has succeeded in holding to account the carpet football stitching sports shoe tobacco cocoa and garment industries carpet industry Reebok, Adidas and Gap have thus been forced to clean up their supply chains. It goes like that. So it's different level. It appears that the quest to meet the 2016 target will be played out on the economic battlefield. Because a lot of vacuum is there. That's why I met L'Oreal for instance. What remains then of the power of politicians? Hello and thank you all for your work to address the persistent scourge of child labor. The problem of child labor is entrenched, but it is solvable. So to achieve our goal, we must work together to address the root causes, including inequality, inadequate access to education, no work or not enough good work for parents, poor enforcement of labor laws, all of which perpetuate the cycle of poverty. Eliminating the worst forms of child labor is part of our broader human rights agenda for the 21st century. The United States finances programs in around 80 countries. Everyone agrees that it makes a vital contribution. But is this any reason to ignore what is happening in its own backyard? Somos de México. Venimos de Florida. Siguiendo las temporadas, pasamos a Georgia, a la pizca de la cebolla. De allí, o sea, se terminó el trabajo y nos venimos aquí a Norte Carolina, a la pizca del tabaco, del camote y del pepino también. Entonces, esta es toda mi familia, Jacinto, este, Saraí, María Guadalupe, mi esposa, Filogonia, Saraí. Tiene 10 años, Guadalupe tiene 12 años. Si no nos ayudan, o sea, tampoco no nos alcanza. These Mexicans have no residence permits. They are illegal immigrants. Their day begins at 5 a.m. The American farmer who brought them here houses them in a dilapidated wooden house that is damp and insalubrious, and for which he will deduct rent when the harvest is over.
Some years ago, American children would ride to school in this old bus. It now takes two little Mexicans to work. Their schooling is fitted in when circumstances permit. They're part-time students, in a way. The chili peppers picked today will soon be on sale in a Boston supermarket or exported to Canada. How many North American consumers are aware that children are involved in their supply chain? Like all farm workers, the girls' pay is performance-linked. They don't have time to talk to us. We're not in India, nor Burkina Faso, nor the Dominican Republic. This is the United States, where several hundred thousand children are employed in agriculture, and employed lawfully, as this sector is not classified as dangerous, unlike the mining or the building industries. The law dates from 1938 and has never been changed. The sun beats down. It's 42 degrees Celsius. Each bucket weighs three kilos. Today, Guadalupe and Sare fill 35, which brings the family $28. This is the eighth consecutive year that the family has come to North Carolina for the harvests. Emily and Peter have founded an association for the child workers of migrant families. Emily devotes herself to defending their rights while Peter offers educational activities. You know, when you go in the tobacco, the it's leaves. even hotter because yeah. mm -hmm. the leaves. That's and, what I think because yeah. in the chili, the banana chili is like the. No, it's stick tough. From my hand. Mm -hmm. And your head is like down because uh -huh. you're picking all the shit is from down, not from mm -hmm. the top. Mm -hmm. And the tobacco is more taller. It's, so it feels more hotter. It's yeah. blocking almost all the, the whole air that we're Yeah, there's no air, there's no wind, the wind can't get through. Mm -hmm. It's or dangerous, it's yeah. I can't work really good in the fields either. Because no. I can't really breathe in there. You can't breathe? She's sick from her heart, like from her heart, but I don't know. They told us that she's sick from her heart, but they we like don't know what, what she's sick of. Yeah. So it, it's, it, it, you do get tired easy? Yeah. yeah. And it makes you like kind of short of breath. Like when it's really hot, her heart I starts just, hurting like, really bad. If we work the whole day, I just work like from the morning to 12, then from there I don't work. Here in North Carolina, we don't have specific numbers of the children that are working, but we've seen, you know, a range from kids as young as five, like I said, all the way through 18 working in the fields. How is it possible that here in the United States? Well, it has to do with large agro business who has a very, it, who is very strong and powerful in, in the economy and in the politics of the country and as well, especially here in North Carolina. Agriculture is the number one economic income for the state. And because the growers have such power in terms of lobbying and at, at the local and state and even national level, it is in their best interest to continue to exploit young workers as well as adult workers um, because they, in turn, uh, are making more money. 
Since 2005, associations have been fighting at the federal level to have agriculture ranked as a dangerous industrial sector. But in Washington, the agribusiness lobbies are resisting. So now the associations are focusing their offensive at the local level. And they're using the same weapon as their opponents, lobbying. This appointment at the North Carolina General Assembly is vitally important to Emily and the heads of other associations. In a few days, a young representative will introduce a bill favorable to the activists. To support it, they must convince the most influential members of the House of Representatives. Republican Representative David Lewis is Vice President of the Agriculture Committee. He also owns a farm equipment dealership. He's the one who can tip the scales. You know, and sometimes the grower may not even essentially know it's happening on his farm. Um, but we have seen um, you know, an estimated over the past 10 years, almost 40 kids have died on farms in North Carolina and okay. thousands are injured across the country each year working. And uh, being exposed to pesticides, we've seen now is linked to cancer and ADHD and just a number of birth defects and a number of things that... I do think there would be some concerns with some of the technical provisions mm -hmm. in this. I certainly don't think there'd be any objection to the spirit of the bill. Mm -hmm. I think there's probably going to need to be a little, a few refinements on some mm -hmm. of the, t of some of the details of mm -hmm. the bill. Okay. Unfortunately. The child labor bill died in the agriculture committee and this happened because of pressure put on the sponsor of the bill, Representative Jordan, he's a freshman. There was pressure put on him from the Department of Labor as well as the Farm Bureau to not request a hearing for the bill and so it died in the agriculture committee. It's very ironic that we do spend millions of dollars abroad to eradicate child labor when it is happening in our own backyards. This type of news item is regularly reported by the local press in many states. Twenty years ago, they might have put the death of these two teenagers electrocuted in a field in Illinois down to the hand of fate, but not any longer. Although millions of children throughout the world are still subjected to the worst forms of child labor, we now know exactly how and why. I'm not pessimistic at all because in the last 30 years I have seen change, I have witnessed change and humbly I have been a polite partner in, in, in some changes in some places. So I'm very optimistic. I cannot fix the, the deadline 2016 or 2014 or whatever, but I'm sure that child labor and particularly child slavery would be abolished soon. It won't take much time. I'm quite confident because looking at the statistics in the last 30 years since I started working, look at, looking at the, the trends, the global trends, the pressure on the corporations, the pressure on the governments, the initiatives of the communities and poor people worldwide, ascertain me that child labor is going to become a history soon. I filmed this footage as the recession was bedding in all over. And again, I asked myself the question, the one that drove me throughout this journey. What will the lives of these children's children be like in 20 years time? The states and all the players in the fight to eradicate child labor have promised to stick to their commitments.
Thank you.